Hi everyone, welcome to Bell's Books. I'm Carly and today I want to do an event announcement. So it's something a bit different. This is just going to be a casual little announcement about an event that I am running this coming week. It is on Wednesday at half seven. It's an online event and it is for Birkbeck Arts Week. Now I've spoken about this before. I'm a PhD student at Birkbeck and I am running an event for the Arts Week program. So Arts Week at Birkbeck is not just one week, it's several weeks of amazing events. And usually we run it from our campus uh, in Bloomsbury, which is on Gordon Square. But um, for the past two years, we've been running it online and this year we're still running it online. So there's loads of things going on at the moment. Um, I will drop the link to Arts Week in the description box below and in the cards up here. Um, and have a look because there's some fantastic events that are going on. There's some that have happened already, but all of them are being recorded. So you can, or most of them are being recorded. So you can go back and watch them retrospectively. Um, and they're fantastic. So I'm going to talk about my event that is happening on Wednesday at 730. Um, and it is called Mending the Psyche Art as Reparation. So I am working with two artists. Faye Ballard and Judy Goldhill and they are going to be talking about their creative practice as a mode of reparation. So basically we're going to be talking about how creativity and art can be a useful tool to heal and um, act as a reparative tool particularly when it's to do with grief and mourning. So Faye and Judy will be speaking about their artwork um, that was created specifically in response to um, the deaths of their respective parents. So Faye is um, an artist that works mainly in drawing and painting and Judy is a, a photographer and she makes videos. I will hopefully position some examples of their work here. So they've very kindly um, given us a few examples of their work so that we can use those images uh, to promote the event. Um, so Faye and Judy are going to be talking about their works and how they made them basically and what that process was like for them. And I am going to be speaking about my creative practice. Now, this is nothing to do with my PhD. I'm not doing um, I'm not doing a creative PhD. It's <laughs> it's purely from the, the the perspective of like me personally. So I use creative writing as a medium. Well, I've always used creative writing as a way to express myself to find out what I think about certain things. So I'm going to be talking about that, the way that I use creative writing um, in lots of different forms and the way that I have used it to help me deal with grief as well. Um, and I'm going to be talking about how we can use creative writing as a mode of dealing with difficult times and trauma. So I'm going to be speaking about a few books. I'm linking this into my research. Um, because I'm going to be talking about the way that the authors that I am researching have used their work to talk about and pose questions about difficult things that have happened. So the main text I'm going to refer to is Funny Weather Art in an Emergency by Olivia Lang, because this book is basically what our talk is about. It is how art and creativity is not just, you know, a thing and a thing of aesthetics to be admired it's a necessary process and particularly when we're thinking about difficult times things that are traumatic to help us think differently and create spaces where we can just find a different way of thinking about things and processing things so i'm going to be talking about this book if you haven't read it it's marvellous. I would highly recommend. I'm also going to be talking about the text that I am using in my research. So The Argonauts by Maggie Nelson. And I'll hold them all up. The Seasonal Quartet by Ali Smith. Um, so I'm only going to be like briefly mentioning these. Um, but so mostly I'm going to be talking about my own creative practice, which is 
kind of slightly nerve-wracking because it's like I say it's my own personal uh, practice I'm not doing it as part of my research but it should be a really good event I'm really looking forward to it we're also going to be joined by um, Birkbeck alumna Elizabeth Pimentel and she is going to be speaking about the um, psychoanalytic and mythological context of the psyche and trauma she's fantastic I love Ellie so I first met her through writing a review of Faye and Judy's work so the reason this has all come about is because it's one of those things where <laughs> it's grown from a meeting that we had so I wrote a review with Ellie so we were we were writing this joint review of Faye and Judy's exhibition at the Freud Museum so this exhibition was called Breathe and they were it was an exhibition of both of their works again talking about the deaths of their parents and me and Ellie wrote this review together we hadn't met we just did it all digitally online and afterwards Faye and Judy got in touch with us and said that they really liked our review and felt like we really understood what they were trying to do with the exhibition and we like you know got what they were trying to say with it and after that they said they'd like to meet us and that was amazing so we had a little meet up in um in Bloomsbury and then we tried to um, work together because they wanted us to curate a, a new exhibition of their works which was a fantastic opportunity and we were trying to put a, an exhibition on at the Peltz Gallery which is in um, Birkbeck in Gordon Square uh, but that didn't didn't actually happen because there was lots of building works going on at Birkbeck the whole thing got shut down anyway so we've reconfigured our proposed exhibition as this event that will be happening next week and so we're all going to speak a little bit about our own respective things and then at the end we're going to offer out prompts to the audience like there's no mandatory participation you don't have to participate we're going to open it out to questions and we're all going to have a discussion between the four of us which will be good and so people can ask questions if they want and then each of us is going to set like a certain amount of prompts for the audience members to go away and have a go at their own form of creative practice in response to something that they're struggling with something that they find difficult even if it's just you know the world in general going through lockdown all of the trauma that we've been through in the last year and a half however long it's been i've lost track of time um so that should be really cool like i said there's no mandatory participation you can just log on sit there and watch and not say anything or you can log on sit there and watch and interact with us and ask us questions so it would be really lovely if um you would take a look at the event i'm going to drop the event link down in the description box um the tickets are free so you just book i think it's through eventbrite and book a ticket come along from your the comfort of your own house <laughs> um and come and have a chat to us if you're watching this video after the event has taken place like i say it will be recorded so um i will then hopefully update the link in the description box to be the recording of the event so you can watch it back retrospectively okay uh, just a quick one today because i just wanted to talk about that event and hopefully some of you will come along it should be really cool um so i will speak to you next week in another video i hope you're all doing okay Take care, everyone. Bye.